Hello there, this is going to be a short tutorial on how to get started with setting up your own ORM. I think that setting up your own ORM can be a very good idea, rather than using Eloquent or Doctrine or whatever. Um, if you need the flexibility and control that you will have if you set it up yourself and build it from scratch. Um, obviously it takes time and time is money, so just bear that in mind. Uh, but setting up your own custom ORM is actually dead simple, if just tedious, because you need to do a lot of work for all your tables. Okay, so um, here is my index file. That's very simple. All I'm doing is creating a user from an email and name, and then later I will fetch all the records and dump them out in JSON format. So um, here we go. I have, I've been calling these user records because they are one to one relationship with the table. This is the ORM aspect, you know, it's an object representing a row in the table, object relational model. Um, although I would not call this a model because I would think of a model as something like the user model, which might interface with many different record tables, like a user record or a deleted user record. Um, but yeah, I won't be covering that. That's how let's go for this tutorial. Um, so yeah, I can create a user record by passing in the email and name. I'll escape those email, the email and name, send it off to the database, and then I will return the manually created object, which represents that record. Cool. When I'm fetching the objects, this is the key point, I will pass the name of this class that I want the objects to come back as to the fetch object method. And because I'm handling this all in a class, I can just pass in the magic constant class, uh, which will always reflect the name of the class you're programming in. Um, so yeah, I'm selecting all of the stuff from the, I use get table name just in case I was to rename the table, like uh, I renamed it from users to user, um, and everything filters through. So I select everything from the table, and then I run the query. If the query succeeds, I will have a MySQLite result instead of a Boolean. Um, it's always good to check if stuff happens. Um, and then by passing the name of the class to the fetch object, a user record object is created, which is an instance of this class, and it will be returned. Uh, the key thing to bear in mind is that the, by passing the name of the class in, it will then try and set your member variables, even though even if they're private, which they should be, um, it will set them based on matching up the names. So because I got migrations, I can see what my table structure is. So it's ID, name, email, which exactly max matches up with ID, name, email. Um, yeah, and that's it. So it's probably good to have it have it run through, just checking it works. Um, so I'm going to go to my project and I'm going to run it. Um, Mind you, I'm blank for a second there. Cool, so my little web server is running. Uh, I ran this earlier, so um, I already have a few records, but you can see this is how many records there are in. And then again, so I just keep creating a user called another user and giving it a unique uh, email address. Hopefully that was useful, um, and I'll see you next time.